white silk smoking. That's Yogi's cousin, man. They both robbed picnic baskets. <laughs> My bees are back. Yeah, got a couple of them over there, huh? Yep. Well, I want to travel along. You about like that. Uh-huh. He might be a wasp or a horn or something. No, they're both bees. They have the same... The same hive. They're... <coughs> it was all gone. There wasn't any, so I just put some there. Yeah. But they were coming and looking for it, and I didn't want them to be disappointed. They apparently like maple syrup. If they have enough time, the they, they they take it. They just they eat it. They I, you know they they put it in whatever you know they take from flowers and everything else. They just consume it and regurgitate it or something, I don't know. <coughs> but they're very fond of maple syrup. And chow down on just a little tiny drop. <laughs> yeah. I have a surplus of that'd syrup. Probably, that'd probably feed him all day, just that one bee. Yeah, a bunch of bees come. A whole lot of bees know about it. Or the same two or three come back over and over again. Whichever it is. They don't have little numbers on them so you can tell them apart. Yeah, I'm going to do as little as possible today. We got out earlier. I just didn't feel like getting up and around as yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I'm trying to force myself to stay in bed to a decent hour, like 10 o'clock. It's very hard. Yeah. If I can make it to 9 o'clock, I'll be doing good because I keep waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I didn't like waking up at 8 o'clock in the morning. So many cliches about getting old are true. Yeah. Mm. My nose hair is out of control. Nose hair? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. I hate it when they grow out your nose and they curly cue around me and they tickle the outside of your no nostril. I try and get them before they do that. <laughs> Next thing you know, you got that little hair tickling the shell. What the fuck is that? Go look in the mirror and see how long hair is sticking where I curl it. Yep. <laughs> I try and get it before that happens. But for every 20 I pull, it seems another 20 come in. I need to start trimming mine, man. Leave just a little bit around here. Just keep all this shit shaved off under here. Yeah. But I, I can't get used to doing it every day, man. Keeping it shaved down. <laughs> Although I keep my electric bill for the paid stuff, I just don't feel like doing it every day. Nope. But then it gets so long, man, after a while it starts irritating me. That's when I end up shaving it off. <laughs> I have to do the same thing. This part under here, this part under here always will eventually irritate. You know? Mine gets all kinky and shaggy, ugly looking at um, It don't thicken up like it used to when I was younger. Yeah, mine's always gone in strange directions. Part of it goes this way and part of it goes that way. Funny looking.
I've been thinking about letting just go T go to yeah. save the rest of let yeah. go T go for a while. See if it grow out any. Well, it's gotta grow out some. They grow out and go T grow out some now. What I ought to do. Why not? Maybe give up, maybe some eventually give up damn cigarettes for can give me a bike. Huh? Give me a motorbike? Yeah. Motorbike from the summertime, springtime and summertime. I'm not really fond of driving drive bikes when it's cold. Well, those little mopeds that I've seen. A snowmobile or, or or, you know, a four-wheeler, I might want a cold and not a motorcycle. <laughs> Motorcycles, springtime and summertime machine. <laughs> well, you know, if I had a little electric moped. One of them little scooters would be nice for around here in town. Yeah, just I'm for down a motorcycle down. where I can take about $500 to get halfway across the United States with it. Oh, I know. I, you, you, you need I just a different gotta pick out my wrap. I hear ya. You want an easy rider it? Yes. Yeah. I back, just, relax I just on wanna keep keep a full throttle, man. Yeah. Especially cruising across the eighty, Interstate eighty. Uh huh. It's seventy five, eighty miles an hour, the whole way. Yep. I just want to scooter downtown and back. Took me four days to get through Cheyenne, Wyoming on foot. <laughs> I didn't have too much luck getting rides, man. Well, there ain't much people up there. Uh -uh. <clears throat> and the ones that are there ain't leaving. Picked me up. Guy picked me up did give me a drive. He was fucking drinking. He was stoned out of the gourd. He was running from the cops and giving me a ride anyway. Then he dropped me off about a mile from where I needed to be. <laughs> so I had to walk a mile back to where I needed to be on Interstate 80. Got back on 80. And okay, so he was drinking, he was smoking, yeah, he was he, on the run from the law. He had an ankle bracelet on his ankle, man. <laughs> when he went to drop me off, he showed it to me and said, Man, I've got an ankle bracelet on my I just cut that motherfucker off, dude. If I can give you a lift, I'll drop you off right here. I gotta get going. Okay. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he had to go dish that truck, man. <laughs> oh, I guess. He's on the fucking run, from what I understand, but I had to go about a mile back to be back on Interstate 80. Here in Cheyenne, right that last day. But well, he dropped, me, he dropped me off about half mile to a mile from where I needed to be on Interstate 80. Taking time out of his busy day to help you out. Yeah, I was a Cheyenne, Wyoming. Well, that, did, that wasn't too bad. Three and a half days. Yeah. I'd give this guy a good fucking. I'd have to give him credit for him. He, he's a student. <laughs> yeah. He's driving like a fucking maniac, too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll get you three Cheyenne. My last ride, he got me three Cheyenne. He dropped me off, man. It was about a mile. Almost a mile. Between a half mile and a mile. From there, stayed 80. And 25 which takes you straight into Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go south. Yeah. Interstate 25? Yeah. And I've never, never been there. Never been on either one of those. 70s. In you know. Wyoming, you want to make sure you got a tank full of gas before you try to cross that son of a bitch. I'd be even want to carry a spare. In Nebraska? That's some bitch walk further across Nebraska than it is across Kansas. Yes. I drove I drove that motherfucker point from freaking state line to state line, really. Yeah. So I was going up twenty nine. 
on the past KCR. Yeah. Said Joe. Yeah. I, I drove, I drove one up that sucker like I was going toward uh, Omaha. I hopped on, I think it's two highway exit. Took me through Lincoln, and I hooked up onto Interstate 80. Just outside of Lincoln, I think it was, uh -huh. or before or one or two. Anyway, I got an 80 man quick speed limit on 80 Interstate 80, was like 75 or 80 miles per hour or faster. Yeah. Yeah, make some good time. When I was driving out that, that big ass fucking truck, loaded down with that dude's shit. Yeah. I just opened that truck up. Because he was riding shotgun, you know. I was in the driver's seat of that truck, I just opened that truck up and just let him fly. <laughs> Said, mm -hmm. I'm driving it now, Terry, we're heading out there. Okay. Got out there, he just fucking used my ass, basically. That's all I did. I'd have had my tools if I had a way to get back here without walking. But I didn't have a way. <clears throat> You're talking about two years ago when you yeah. went out to the coast? Yeah. I left a bunch of hand tools out there. Two parasols, just a sawzall and a very good skill saw, brand new skill saw. Yeah. Sometimes our tools go away. But half of them that were out there, that I left out there, I got in trash, people throwing them away. They were in good shape. Some of them are brand new ones. Look like brand new tools, they throw them away. So it's a cheap brand socket. As long as that sucker works, it's all right with me. You know what I mean? I do. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. As long as it does the job, man, that's all it tells. Yeah. Remember years ago, they used to have Operation Brightline, and people set up good stuff they no longer use. Oh, yeah. They made that different against the counties, law. Different areas of town. They made that against the law in Johnson County. And, uh, oh, we used to, I used to hit Johnson County up there every fucking year. Well, and yeah. days they were having it, and what routes. They don't do it anymore. There are a lot of years, man. I got big ass TVs like that gray one got from Oliver Clay. Uh -huh. There are a lot of years I got big old TVs like that plug them in and not be a damn thing wrong with them. Yeah. People are just sending them out, man, donating. Tired of it. Got a new one. Well, she got his TVs to be sold. The old turn dial you know. Uh-huh. The old man, you know. Refrigerators. Couches. Yeah. Furniture. Good cabinets. Not anymore in Johnson big, tall, County. Big, kind of big tall cabinet man made out of solid wood. Made Theoretically, out you're not supposed to be able to do it in Lawrence anymore either. And uh, we took that sucker with us out the door. And uh, I stood that sucker up in the gate of the truck. Took two of us to get it up in the bed of the truck. Yeah. Stood it up, man. That's about seven feet tall. But uh, we stood it up and uh, freaking men, we got down from gust of wind, cut that son of a bitch and tipped it backwards. I fell over on my cab and did another cab in my truck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, that guy, that didn't even hurt that cab. That cab wasn't hurt at all, wasn't even scratched. And that truck cab was up. Yeah. Oh, this dent and crease bad, man. Ow. Right above the window, too, the back window of the cab. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Coo 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 choo. See that yeah, drink run. water here, Mike? Yep. Throat kind of dry, man. We'll hear you. Gotta stay hydrated. Yes, sir. Tip number one stay hydrated. Hell, yeah, that gives me fuel and make it back up the hill, man. Steam power.
seals. Whoops. <laughs> that shark's going to chow down there before long. You can't get all of them. They could Ben Carson him. Yeah. Plus, shark can't get him on the shore. <laughs> Will you just get out of the water? Hope you didn't mind me hanging out for a few. No, I love it. I had a little walk down here. I hear ya. Saturday is walking it's day. It's going to be even harder going back though because it's all uphill. <laughs> Basically. Just go even slower. Hey, there's the male person. Yeah. So, theoretically, we yeah, should go out there. Yeah, go slow, man. Stick in the shade. I'll be all right. Yeah. I have my jug of water. Which way are you going? Back up Nettleton. I'll go across yeah. 7th Street. Yeah. See, if I walk down but toward the other way down toward the football field in the high school. Yeah. I don't like that tall big ass hill. That hurts my legs to walk up there so much. I hear ya. There's some major hillage over there. No, I like Second Street. Every time I walk it it seems shorter. You know. From downtown to the factory, don't take hardly you know, 10 minutes. Usually, usually, if I don't have my canteen with me, yeah. I'll walk straight up 2nd Street all the way up to the little park behind the grocery store there. See, it's got that little water fountain out there where I can get some water. Except it's turned off. Well, they may have shut it off in winter now, I don't know. Yeah, I tried to get a drink out of it yesterday. Did you? Is it off? And it was they may shut it off from winter so it don't freeze up. I figured that's probably what they do is, you know, come November they turn it off. If well, they I'm glad I carried my thing with me then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're counting on that water, you were going to be dry. No, I looked at it, of course. Oh, man, I should be recording my mother the car. You can get all of John Wayne in the computer. They've been showing some funny movies of his here lately too. Yeah. They're not westerns. Yeah. They're uh, kind of like detective work or some football and this and that. <sighs> There's one where he played a football coach. Yeah. It's a comedy. I can't remember the name of it. One of them generic titles. Few, few of me were detective type, but. Brannigan. Brannigan, I know them. And, McHugh. And McHugh. He made two detective movies. There was one movie where he played an FBI agent in the early 50s. Yeah.
rocking a little easier. Huh? That'll make her walking a little easier. I know it always helps me.